Kuyanaini, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the government representative, Senator Gold. On October 3rd, 2022, after a disturbing increase in the number of deaths by suicide within the Northwest Territories, the chief coroner took the unprecedented step of releasing early data. In 2020, a 10-year review by the NWT Coroner Service reported that 10% of all our deaths recorded in the NWT are deaths by suicide. The largest demographic is males and young people between the ages of 20 to 40 in two key regions, the North Slave and the Beaufort Delta region. In my home community of Tuktiaktuk, there have been four deaths by suicide within the last three months. Earlier this month, the federal government allocated an additional 11 million to the Inuit Tapri Kanatami for the organization's suicide prevention strategy over the next two years. Unfortunately, the current financial allocation does not address equitable standards across the NWT. Senator Gold, my question is as follows. There is a mental health crisis in the Northwest Territories. I'd like to know what concrete steps the federal government is doing, both in the short and long term, to help the territory, communities, and people address the key factors that contribute to death by suicide. Senator Gold. Thank you for your question, Senator, and uh, for underlining the tragedy to the individuals and the families and the communities that this scourge uh, represents. Um, the government has provided significant funding uh, in an attempt to address both the causes and, uh, and to help prevent uh, this from continuing. Uh, provided $730,000 for mental health and addiction services to Northwest Territory, which builds upon targeted funding from some years before, from 2017 home care and community care. Um, you mentioned the $11 million and uh, that uh, Indigenous services in Inuit Tapiri Kanatami have, uh, um, have announced for the National Inuit Suicide Prevention Strategy. There's a total commitment of a lot of money, uh, $70 million to the strategy of, to help the communities. There's no dollar amount that can take away the lives that are lost to this. And when uh, the, gov the government of Canada is committed to continue to work with the communities and its organizations to address this tragedy. Senator Anderson, supplementary. Okay. Um, thank you, Senator Gold. Um, I just want to point out that the funding uh, that was given to ITK is, if I'm correct, under a, under a funding formula. 13% of that will get to the Inuvalid in the Northwest Territories. Um, and I understand it's not just money. Um, the NWT and specific Indigenous groups I know right now are struggling in terms of economic prospects and running into red tape with legislation and regulations and rules that we set here. So in addition to being part of the pro problem, we are the solution. Um, so I just want um, to know how um, moving forward are we, or as you as the federal government representative, going to ensure that um, not only is there funding provided, but there are um, steps taken to ensure that there is economic opportunity and um, working within the Indigenous communities to advance um, and improve lives in the Northwest Territories? Senator Gold. Um, boy, I wish it was in my power, anybody's power, to ensure the re the realization of those objectives. I can tell you, I, I, I met with Minister Miller just today, and I know that, uh, and, 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 uh, that he and his colleagues, Minister Van Dell and, and many others, uh, are taking a whole of government approach uh, to try to work on all aspects of this, especially for communities like yours and others uh, who are both more remote from the centers of decision making and unfortunately too often uh, less in mind uh, of those. Uh, uh, um, the government is committed to doing what it can. It's slow, it's laborious, it's, ne it's, n it's never enough. And I think Minister Miller, uh, to his credit, is, is quite open about, about, about that. But 
um, I am convinced that this government will continue to work as hard as it can with, your communi with the communities uh, to address the social causes and the horrible consequences that you described so well.